We're going to be discussing the Griffin Rocket foot pedal and how to connect it to a four inlet or sometimes called a two stage torch. Here you can follow the lines really easily. Here are the inlet lines that are coming from your tanks, oxygen and fuel or propane. These two connections then just go straight to your inner fire. Here we have our outer fire connections, this is another view. So again, we have our inlets, our inner fire, our outer fire right here. There are two styles of rocket foot pedal, the regular version and then the oxygen bypass. The oxygen bypass allows for a little bit of oxygen to flow to the outer fire when the foot pedal is in the off position. The benefits of this are when you have a little bit of oxygen flowing to your outer ports, it injects a little bit into the inner fire, causing the flame to get a little bit hotter and a little bit tighter. The biggest benefit in my mind is that it helps gas flowing to the outer ports, which reduces any kind of carbon buildup on the face of your torch. So we have the four inlets on our snub nose mirage torch here and we're going to be connecting those then to the foot pedal here and again we have our inner fire and our outer fire here in order to do that we're going to take some t-grade hosing we're going to cut in half open this up we've gone ahead and folded our hosing in half t-grade hosing is really nice and tough so it does take a little bit of muscle to get in there and cut it we now have two sections of hosing that are about six feet long. This section that we have here also has some B fittings on the end. So we're going to go ahead and also just cut these off because we're going to hose clamp everything onto the foot pedal. Now we have two sections that are six feet long and they're going to go from our torch on our bench down to the foot pedal on the floor. Now that we have our hose clamps loosely tightened on, we're going to go ahead and connect four of these hoses to the torch and the other four hoses to the foot pedal. Obviously match red with red and green with green. And we're going to want to make sure we separate our outer fire and our inner fire. Make sure that the hoses going to the inner fire are part of the same section. I like to use hand sanitizer to lubricate our fittings a little bit. Save our elbows some trouble of connecting these. A little elbow grease and slide them on. Now that all of our fittings are secured onto the hoses and the hose clamps are nice and tight, and if you can see we've slid the hosing all the way up to the top as well as making sure that the hose clamp is over that barb on all of our fittings. To double Double check and make sure that our fittings and connections are good. We look to see that there's a little bit of hosing that kind of pokes through the slots on the clamps. Take note that one section of the six foot hosing that we used is connected to the inner fire or those ports and the other length of hosing is connected to the outer fire. Now that we have all of our fittings secured, we're going to go ahead and hook up our tanks to the inlet section on the foot pedal. Now that we have the foot pedal all hooked up, let's do a quick recap of every connection here. We have our two inlet lines that are running from our tank. We have then the inner fire, which is skipping the whole foot pedal action and just coming through. And then we have our outer fire hoses where the gas flow is actually being shut off by a mechanical cylinder inside of the foot pedal. Let's take a quick look at the action as well of the on off on the Griffin rocket foot pedal. Here we have it in the off position and as we'll use with our foot not our hand the on so that will kick the outer fire on and you can kick it off with that action. Thanks for watching the video on how to set up a foot pedal for a glass blowing torch. Be sure to comment below on other videos you'd like to see. Be sure to subscribe and press the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos.